Lawmakers in Washington must reach a new spending deal by Friday in order to avoid a partial government shutdown. News 5 senior reporter Brett Forrest is looking into it. The clock is ticking to avoid a partial government shutdown on March 1st, and this will be the fourth time since September that lawmakers have been up against a funding deadline. They keep passing short-term stopgap spending deals. The biggest fight right now is a $118 billion aid package for Ukraine, Israel, and the border. $60 billion of that would be for Ukraine, and it's something both Democrats and even Republicans are pushing for. Not only the future of Ukraine is on the line, which is extremely important, uh, but the larger battle uh, against authoritarian is, authoritarianism is on the line. This is not just about Ukraine. This is about freedom versus dictatorships. This is about truth versus propaganda. Many hardline Republicans don't want to pass a spending plan until they see changes in immigration and border security. And this comes as President Biden and former President Trump plan to each visit the southern border on Thursday. Uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson is under pressure to block a vote on Ukraine aid, but the bill appears to have enough bipartisan support to pass. Now, if a partial shutdown did happen, billions of dollars worth of military construction projects could be in jeopardy. That also includes family housing programs. March 1st deadline also impacts the VA, agriculture, energy, transportation, and urban development. And then the other remaining funding bills expire a week later, March 8th. Reporting in studio, Brett Forrest, News 5.